Hello, my name is Stephanie Wong, and this is my lab presentation on digestion in hydras, planarians, and sea stars. So as a quick introduction, the main goal of this is to compare and contrast the digestive system throughout the three different phyla. First, I'll talk about what exactly the digestive system is. Then I'll talk about my first phyla, Cnidaria with the hydra, then Platyhomenthes with the planaria, and then the final phyla, Echinodermata with the sea star. Then I'll talk about the similarities and differences between all of these organisms and the evolutionary history of the digestive system throughout these phyla. So first, what exactly is the digestive system? It's responsible for breaking down food and absorbing nutrients for the organism. And all these systems will look a little bit different because organisms have different shapes or they live in different environments. And so they need, um, they need a, a digestive system that works best for their environment. So the first phyla is phyla Cnidaria with the hydras. These live in freshwater environments and they're predators. Uh, at the ends of their tentacles, they have these things called nematocytes and these produce toxins that can paralyze their prey when in contact. They have an incomplete digestive system. So this means that their mouth and their anus come from the same opening. And they have a gastrovascular cavity. Uh, so when their prey is paralyzed, it goes into the cavity and enzymes are secreted, which turn, which break down the prey into a sludge. And then the cells that line the cavity absorb the nutrients. Next, we have the phylum Platyhomenthes with the planarians. They also live in freshwater environments and they're also carnivorous predators. They wrap their bodies around their prey and then they can spit enzymes with this pharynx onto their prey that will break down the food outside of the planarian's body and then they suck in the nutritious sludge. And so this type of digestion is called extracellular digestion. They have an incomplete digestive system with a branched intestine so that there's the most surface area on this very flat worm. And they also have absorptive phagocytes inside the intestine and goblet cells that secrete enzymes. Then they have a pharynx that is this muscular organ here, and it ingests food and excretes waste and excretes enzymes as well. Next, we have Echinodermata. These are the sea stars. These live in marine environments, and they have a complete digestive system with a mouth at the bottom of this picture, the anus here, the stomach here, intestines, and all those other things. They are predators as well, and they eat things like clams and mussels and snails. They have these tube feet that are right here. These aren't just moved for moving around. They're not just used for locomotion, but they're also used to stabilize their prey so that they can evert their cardiac stomach. They can push their stomach through their mouth and pour digestive enzymes onto their prey that turn it into a sludge that they suck up again with their cardiac stomach. And here in their arms, they have these pyloric CK, which are enzymes and digestive glands. Now we're going to talk about the similarities and differences between all these animals. So uh, you can see that all these animals, they all share the characteristic of being aquatic carnivorous predators, and they all have enzymes that they use to break down their food. Hydras and planarians, they both have incomplete digestive systems and they cellularly phagocytose their food uh, because they don't have specialized organs. Then sea stars and hydras, they both have arms that can use to capture prey. So, you know, hydras, they have their stinging cells, their nematocytes up there, and then sea stars, they can stabilize their prey with their arms. Hydras specifically, they have they're the only ones that have a gastrovascular cavity and pneumatocytes. And then planarians uh, have branched digestive system because they're flat and then also the muscular pharynx. And sea stars, they're the only ones that have complete digestive system and then also tube feet. And so the form and function of all these different animals is the hydra and the sea star, their form, they have similar forms. They both have arm-like structures, but the similar form of, or the similar function of obtaining prey. Hydras and planarians both have complete indigestion with the mouth and the anus as a singular opening. Hydras and planarians are also phagocytotic, and their function is to, is that the cells that line the cavities and the intestines absorb the nutrients. 
And then we have the planarians and the sea stars, and they have similar forms. Um, their organs both pour enzymes to suck in prey, and this is this is a function of cell, extracellular digestion. All the phyllas, they all have different modes of capturing prey, but they all are predators. And they all have enzymes, but they all break down and absorb the food that they need. So now about the evolutionary history. Hydras, these are the earliest, you know, these are part of the phyla scenario. And they're the, earlier, the earliest phyla to branch out of this group. They're not as similar to the sea star and planarian, and their digestive system is a lot simpler because it only has because they only have the gastrovascular cavity. Planarians that are part of the platyhomenthes, these have a digestive system that are a lot more similar to the sea stars, and they have the complex branching of their intestines in their bodies. And then the sea star, these are the echinodermata, and they are the most complex and have the most organization. And so you can see that throughout evolution, you know, all these different species, they all are very similar. And so they all must be related to each other by, you know, some common ancestor, you know, by some common ancestor. But they all are different and well adapted to their environments and their body sizes and all those things. So that's why they have different digestive systems. So in conclusion, I compared and contrasted the digestive system throughout three different phyla, the cydnarias, the platyhomenthes, and echinodermata. I, saw, I also talked about the similarities and differences in form and function, and about the evolutionary history of these animals. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation, and I hope you have a wonderful day.